Hello there. Welcome to Config Tuition. This tutorial is specifically created for syslog configuration for Cisco ASA devices. In this tutorial, we have used the uh, component which is Cisco ASA 5550 with iOS MH91729. And these all are the commands which we will be uh, configuring at the device so that our logging is enabled and then uh, we get the logging of the device. Uh, in short, the traffic, right? And at the end, we'll be doing the testing. So there are various ways you know, to check the uh, logs. First of all, I would like to say, just go with your syslog, uh, you know, server owner. Maybe it is you or someone else, you know, it depends, right? If it's a different team, then definitely there would be a different person. will be taking care of those syslog messages, right? So you can just ask, uh, like, whether they are receiving the tra traffic or not. I mean the syslog or not if let's say if they are claiming that you are not at all uh, sending the logs we are not able to see it then in this case you know you need to take your device and then uh, you have to go for the debugging you know debugging when I mention it's like capturing the packet and then filtering it out with our expected you know uh, keywords so here since since we are you know doing the configuration of uh, uh, syslog this port is wrong actually here it will be 514 right so it's 514 true and then you'll get uh, all the packets related to uh, you know the sys syslog port which is 514 and then apparently you can ask uh, or, or can share it to your concerned team true so we'll go ahead to see the configuration how we can do it on the firewall and uh, we'll try to verify this event all right so as we know the first command is logging enabled second is timestamp Logging timestamp. And then and by this one is not really necessary. If you want, then you can do it, or else if it is really don't make sense for your organization, you can just excuse it. I mean, you know, just leave it. It's buffer size depends on your requirement okay so I'll not take a lot of time so of yours you know and then I'll I'll directly configure it because I have uh, these configuration ready in and notepad so yeah I'll just go ahead to configure it okay so as, as you can see I'm done with configuration right and then uh, what I can ask now I can ask to syslog uh, admin uh, you know uh, the person who is managing the syslog uh, server whether they are getting the uh, you know logs or not and uh, and and obviously uh, uh, a particular particular interface will be uh, sending the logs so as of now my uh, this interface v910 inside is sending the traffic why? Because I have uh, specified the host here, right? And the IP for that uh, is 1036.160.186. So uh, just, just uh, what I can do uh, for my case is like I'll just ask uh, Syslog uh, uh, server team whether they're getting the traffic through 1036.160.186 or not. If they're saying yeah, we are getting it, then we are we we all are good. We don't need to worry about. If they're saying no, uh, there's a problem, you know we are not getting it with so just confirm it whether you are sending it or not so in that case what we can do is i can just uh, go ahead to capture this uh traffic what so far i'm just generating here you know so um it's like it's like i need to trace the packet which is uh, going from uh, uh, from this interface right and then they said ivan four is the port number right so I can go something is wrong I guess yeah so I missed EQ you know which is equal to 514 
so done now I can just do a cap out you know the capture which I created right so see here traffic is continuously being sent from my interface to that remote server so we are done we don't need to worry about now right so that's all is the uh, syslog configuration for cisco asa devices so we'll see you soon thank you